This video demonstrates the installation process of three-phase high-voltage energy storage inverter. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. The inverter is heavy. Please utilize proper lifting techniques whenever moving the inverter. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for proper ventilation for heat dissipation and avoidance of direct sunlight. When the inverter is operating, there may be risks of high temperature and high voltages. It is recommended to install the inverter in a location that is not easily accessible. Install the back plate. Appropriate space should be reserved around the installation location of the inverter. Using a level ruler to ensure collimation level after determined the installation position of the back plate. Back plate installation is complete. Mount the inverter. Align the inverter with the hooks on the mounting plate and hang it. Screw the fixing screws included in the package into the fixing holes. Inverter installation completed. Grounding cable connection. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of inverter. DC side connection. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltage of the PV strings. Distinguish the positive and negative poles. Ensure the DC voltage is within the allowable range marked on the nameplate of the inverter. Please refer to Solis demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When the solar module is exposed to the sun, high voltage will appear on the DC wire. Do not touch the DC wire. Before connecting the inverter, please ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the limit of the inverter. The solar modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. When you hear a click sound, it indicates that the connection is fastened. Battery connection. For battery installation, please refer to the battery manufacturer's instructions to install the battery. Connect one end of the battery power cable to the battery end and the other end to the bat at the bottom of the inverter. AC side connection. Unscrew the black nut and connect the load AC cable and the grid AC cable through the corresponding port to the corresponding terminal. Communication connection. Unscrew the nut and remove the black cylinder. Connect one end of the BMS cable to the third port of the battery. Connect it to the BMS at the bottom of the inverter. In the same way, connect one end of the communication cable to the meter port on the bottom of the inverter. The RJ45 connector on the other end of the cable is connected to the RS485 port of the meter. Put the CT on the live wire and place it in the distribution box. Be sure to check the CT direction and ensure the arrow faces the grid. If you choose a Solis data logger, please connect it to the COM port at the bottom of the inverter. Connect the antenna to the antenna at the bottom of the inverter. Power on debugging. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. Close the battery switch and AC circuit breaker. Close the DC switch. 
if the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up. Log in to Solis Cloud app. You can download Solis Cloud app by scanning the QR code on the quick installation manual. Turn on Bluetooth switch on your mobile phone and then open the Solis Cloud app. Click More Tools. Local Operation. Connect with Bluetooth. Select the Bluetooth signal from the inverter. If you are the installer, please select the account type as installer. If you are the plant owner, please select the account type as owner. Then set your own initial password for control verification. Remember the password you set, which you will need to enter the next time you log in. Quick settings. Set the inverter date and time. You can set to follow the time on your mobile phone. Set the battery model. If there is no battery connected for the moment, please select no battery to avoid alarms. It must be based on the battery model that is actually connected to the inverter. For lithium battery, please select lithium battery. For lithium battery without communication, Select the 48 volts or 51.2 volts battery option under the lead acid battery mode. For lead acid battery, please select lead acid. CT is used by default and CT ratio is default 2000. Set grid code. Please select the grid code according to the local country standard. Set the work mode. Recommended setting is self-use mode. This mode can maximize the use of PV power generation for household electricity. Or store it in batteries and use it for household electricity. If need manually control the battery charging and discharging with respect to time, please use the time of use switch and the following set points. The allow grid charging is recommended to be turned on. Backup mode can be opened in the self-use or feed in priority mode. You can set the reserved SOC. If grid power is lost, the battery will have the reserved SOC at the very least to carry the backup load through the outage.